really early today. Hi, just putting some lip balm on. Do you want your makeup brush? She always needs to have one while I'm doing my makeup. It's Saturday, so the only thing we usually have going on on Saturdays is gymnastics because it runs really close to nap time and it's always a process. So we choose not to do much else. Josh is sick. He has cold, some sort of thing going on. I was just sick for like three or four days. I'm getting the feeling now that it wasn't contagious because neither he nor Seren got it. It was like, it felt like the flu that we had in November and it was not fun. But I'm also still having some lasting effects so I have a feeling that it's a me problem. And by that, I mean my ongoing stomach issues that have still not been resolved. So I actually put myself in a point with a naturopath because according to people that I know that have had similar issues, that was the only way that they found answers and our doctors just don't want to do anything. My family doctor has gotten to the point where it's infuriating me. I can't. She basically undiagnosed me with ADHD, so I had to go get another diagnosis and pay for that. Luckily, I found a place that was fairly reasonable, but still, that shouldn't have to happen. And then I also had an issue with the CRA. I just don't understand why, if you know how much I owe, why am I? going through hoops to figure out what that number is just fucking tell me and i'll pay you or you pay me so i just i'm tired of living the broke life in other words poverty <laughs> continuously getting fucked over like I'm, i have a lifelong student debt because the government wouldn't give me money because my parents made too much money but they really didn't and they also never gave me money for school because they have their own fucking lives to pay for. Anyways, long story short, I have like $34,000 in debt, not including my student loans. I got like very minimal student loans, but the other loans that I had to get were through the bank. So they incur interest every month. So I can hardly afford to pay for the interest, let alone a principal payment. And it's so fun and so awesome. It's not that I regret going to school, but the government is making me regret it. Like it's the only reason that I am in the jobs that I have been in. I have loved those jobs and I loved going to school. I loved my education. If I could do it all over again, I don't think I would simply because I'm never going to be out of debt and it's not a small debt and it's really, really causes me a lot of stress. So I would kind of rather be in a miserable job making decent money than be doing the job that I enjoy doing and also making decent money because let's be honest, the field that I decided to go in is not one that you go in for money. Yet it's still something that you have to pay so much money in tuition could be a part of. Feelings as of late have been financial stress and frustration and health issues. Tummy troubles, if you will. In other news, Valentine's Day slash my mom's birthday, because my mom's birthday is on Valentine's Day, we're going to a hotel again and I'm excited about it. It's not the same one that I went to for my birthday because we booked that for my mom and my dad so that they could go there. We're celebrating it the weekend before Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is on like a Wednesday, I think. Yeah, I booked with my brother's discount for my mom and apparently you can't do that at the same hotel. So we're staying at one down the road and we're just gonna meet up for dinner, but it's still gonna be really fun. And I'll probably try and sneak into the spa with my mom because I didn't get to experience that. <laughs> I'm sure my dad is very impartial to go into the spa with her, so. I don't know if you can hear it, but I've got some classical calming music going on. I always used to play it when Seren was much younger. Like I would always, every day, try to have some sort of calming classical music playing. I heard it makes you smart or something, I don't know. But I actually like classical music, so sometimes she'll just sit there and sway and it's so cute. I love how much she loves music. She, she gets so excited like when I play guitar 
or when I put on a song that she likes and it's obvious that she has songs that she prefers because the only thing that I listen to right now is Monoskin. She really loves Monoskin, which makes me happy. Okay, I wanna try and do an eyeliner, but every time I do it, it makes me so upset because I don't know what angle to do it at with my shape of eyes. If anybody could let me know, that would be great. Cause if I do it like upwards, it looks really weird. I think it's hooded eyes that I have or downturned or both, I don't know. See like that? Mm, okay, that's not as bad. How does that look? Now I gotta make it even, okay. If anybody would like to try and like diagnose me, I have had issues with my stomach, like mainly nausea, like acid reflux and stuff since about three months postpartum, but it has only gotten worse. More recently I've had excessive bloating. Like when I mean bloating, I'm talking, you would think I was four or five months pregnant and it's almost painful. It's so uncomfortable. I'm starting to like not be able to even get through half a meal, which I know is bad. Sometimes it feels like I am pregnant, which obviously I've gone through the avenue so as to not let that happen, but also find out whether I am or not and I'm not. I've had more headaches, which I went to a, like a dizzy clinic and they diagnosed me with some sort of migraine, but I don't fully believe that that's what's causing all my issues. He said that it couldn't cause like all these stomach issues and I'm like, that's great, but I don't think that is the underlying cause for everything. Maybe I do actually, I do have migraines. Like that, that's not what I'm denying. It's that those are causing all of my stomach issues. And also I've never had migraines before. I've had like headaches often, but was never diagnosed with migraines. Hey. I, I decided yesterday that I was going to go gluten free for a while to see if that's what it was. Because I have somebody in my family that was diagnosed with celiac, but they had had the initial blood tests, which didn't diagnose them. And they were like, they had a hard time getting diagnosed. And I have had the blood test, but nothing else done. And they told me that I didn't have it. So I figured I might as well try. Even when I had my meal that was completely gluten-free yesterday for supper and today for breakfast, I couldn't even, like I got through maybe half of it. And I'm like bloated right now and I don't feel good. So, <laughs> someone smells like poop. Yeah, I don't know. At times I feel like it's like an immunity issue, like immunity compromised or one of those things because I've been sick at least once a month. And it's not just like the stomach issue sick, like we've had cold every single month and not normal colds either, like really bad chest colds feeling like garbage out of commission and that's what josh has right now and i can feel it coming so i've been taking echinacea but like why is it happening see the, the eyeliner just doesn't look right so i can't figure out why <laughs> she's, she like opened the lid to her potty and she's like yelling into it she's got her book in there i don't know what i'm going to be updating you on later but i i don't know what i'm gonna be filming today but See you later. You got your heels on? Oh dear. I put so much sweetener in this <coughs> and it doesn't even taste sweet. I'm now going to pick up Sun and go to gymnastics. And no minimum requirements or whatever that thing is. No minimum balance. Think about riddles are like good for well, yeah, complex thinking. 
I just got back from the ER because I've been really sick this past week and I was really tired of it and I was just getting so nauseous today. I haven't hardly been able to eat anything and when I do eat, I get so bloated and feel so sick and then spell it out of me. So my ER doctor <laughs> was the father of some kids that I nannied a few years ago, like a couple years ago, I don't know. The chances are just like really small that that would happen and it's hilarious that it did and also so wonderful. He was so helpful. Finally got prescribed a medication that will hopefully help me at least get through to see like a gastro specialist but like it was so nice. I got to like talk to him a little bit about how in he and his kids are doing and oh my god I miss them. They're such a sweet family. <laughs> I miss nannying so much and it's funny because the reason that I stopped nannying was because I got pregnant. I needed to have a, a full-time job with benefits. It's just so so weird how it comes full circle and like I would never have stopped. I loved nannying. It was such a sweet gig getting to hang out with these cool kids and like this wonderful family, work for this wonderful family. Oh my god. So now I've got a referral waiting for me to see a gastro specialist and some medication to help with my nausea. <laughs>